Hi, I'm David. Welcome back to the Creative Outlet. Today we're going to be playing a game called City Skylines. Some of my earliest exposure to City Skylines is from a YouTuber named Biffa. I really liked his content and the game looked so much fun, so I stopped watching all of his videos. And today's goal is for me to learn to play City Skylines without watching any tutorials. Let's see how I do. City Skylines is currently on Steam for about $30. Uh, let's just go with the first one, Blackwoods. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I don't know how to play this game. Let's just do it. I'm really excited. New game day. <gasps> Ooh, somebody's building. Somebody's moving in. Ah, yay! Okay, <laughs> I have homesteads opening up. Oh, this is very exciting. <laughs> okay, I think the, the the goal should be a thousand inhabitants. Okay, so what I've done here is I've put in some electric power lines. Hopefully that will bring power to my inhabitants way down there. I wanted to put it all the way over here so that it doesn't get in the way. Now, this city sucks. <laughs> this city sucks, period. You know what? I'm doing my best. Okay, the water, oh, there's water flow. Okay, I have to think about this. So I don't, I want the drainage to be downstream of the pumping, which means I'm gonna put it here. I guess I'll do a couple of those. Do I have, should I be linking those up? Okay. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, it's pretty. <gasps> Look at all these people. Uh, it's a little bit harder to see at night, to be honest, although it is pretty. Can you tell I don't know what I'm doing? Oh my God. Okay, this is a little bit stressful. Pfizer. Oh man, this is a little... Complicated, huh? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just playing a video game. That's all I'm doing. Come on. There you go. All right, the tools definitely take a little getting used to. Okay, here's where the rubber meets the road. If you didn't learn how to balance a checkbook in school, maybe you'll learn it from playing City Skylines. Well, I feel like a dummy dumb. All right. I literally put the turbines in the weakest spot on the entire stinking map. All right. You're going to have to move. You know, if you shift the goalposts, you'll never lose. And you know what? When you live in a home, it's nice not to live in in the middle of businesses, but it is nice to have businesses nearby so that you can have things like grocery stores and whatnot. So I'm gonna put that there. Oh, I can hear the sounds of the street. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. Each person has a name. Little Hamlet. Woo! We have a little Hamlet. That means we get all these new things. Okay, all right, we're moving, we're moving. If we're a little Hamlet, we need to name up somebody. Billy Shakespeare. <laughs> uh, sometimes I amaze myself. Hey, I've been having so much fun playing this game. If you have been enjoying watching me play, make sure to hit the like button down below. It helps YouTube tell other people that this is content they might like. Thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Oh. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm so confused. Just in case you couldn't tell, I am not a civil engineer. <laughs> I have friends who are civil engineers. I should talk to one of them and get them to teach me how to play. Drugstore. That's not what it says. It says yakisoba tasty noodles. <laughs> I wouldn't go to a drugstore to buy yakisoba noodles. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I think I see the problem here, and that is that this landfill is already full. I built a full landfill. No, I think the problem is that we don't have any garbage trucks going out and collecting trash.
Oh, wait, here's a... What's this? Is that a garbage truck? I was wrong. <gasps> oh! I didn't even realize we were growing that much. <laughs> okay, so we're like ha more than halfway to a thousand people. How cool would it be if I could create a whole city that only used green power? Yeah, let's make this a hippie town. Why not? Hippie dippy. Hippie dippy dippy. Can I just cram it in there? Okay, I think I understand what's happening here. Yeah, paint Willow Heights. They named it for me. Okay, here's another one. I really wish it was daytime. I really do. I don't know how to change that. What's this? What's this? Do, 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 do. Let's see, it looks like we're starting to get a pretty good amount of traffic over here. Ba -doom. Sorry, guys. Also going to do that over here. Eminent domain! Get out! <laughs> they want to find... <laughs> My little... <laughs> Let me read this again. My little princess was... Hashtag trapped up in a hashtag tree for three hours before the hashtag fire department showed up to f save her majesty. Hashtag save the cats. All right, time for an orange. 100% of my citizens are uneducated. Uh, that's bad. There's no, no, no two ways about it. They are uneducated. They are dumb. So we need a school. And I don't have enough money. Let's take out a loan. Oh, it's raining. Oh wow, look at that, that is cool. Oh man, that is awesome. Look at this, this is so cool. Oh my God, there's so much crime. All right, we need a police station, stat. Focus up, David. <laughs> it costs $22,000, that's all the money I have. It is kind of amazing how quickly this whole town just sort of existed. Do I have to destroy it first? Uh, whoops. Okay, I liked the rain, but it's really annoying now. <laughs> what is it that I'm building? Oh, it's a small park. Oh, very cute. Okay, yes, we'd absolutely need a park. Let's see here. What is this? A dog park? If you haven't seen my dog training video, eight most useful tricks that my dog Charlie knows, you should check it out. Charlie! Say hi to the camera. Whoa. <laughs> Moving on. We need more wikers. Wikers. Oh boy, the traffic here is really bad. How do I solve traffic? Biffa makes this look so easy. So I want to jump back in now that I know the game just a little bit better. I'm really starting to enjoy this game. It's, uh, building games are just, oh, they're my favorite. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got so far. We've got some districts. We've got our world going pretty well. We've got some pump stations. We've got our drain station over, uh, drain stations over here. We've got a lot of them. Uh, we may not need all of those. We've got these big wind farms, a uh, big wind farm that over here. And honestly, I think that that might've been Kind of a bad decision, but for now I'm gonna stick with it. Let's see what we need. Right now we need more residential and we need a little bit more commercial. Let's take a look at our zoning. And you can see we've got some empty spots over here for commercial and we've got some empty spots over here for residential. So that will do for now. Now let's take a look at our taxes real quick. I think I'm going to plonk this back up to about 12%. I think that that will help us out immensely. And then the other thing is that I learned that by messing around with the budget a bunch, you can maximize the amount of money that you're making while making sure that you're not spending too much on things that don't matter. So for instance, busing, I don't need a whole lot of busing. It's gonna be difficult to put in a new dump without messing around with the, the, the nice residential areas that we've got going on over here. So we are badly in need of more education. But of course, we don't have enough money for it. We only have eight grand left over here. Healthcare, how is our healthcare? Our healthcare is actually doing pretty good. Mm, traffic, okay, we've got some bad traffic happening over here. Ooh, this, this road might need to be upgraded. In fact, you know what? Yep, I think I'm gonna do that. Apparently, you can upgrade your roads. Upgrade that, upgrade that. Come on, 
Space already occupied. Do I have a building over here that I can't... What is this? Oh, that's the firehouse. Okay, so we're gonna have to move you. And that should be that. Okay. Traffic is still bad over there, and traffic is bad over here as well. I wonder why. Hmm. Alright, well, well, we'll let that stand for now. Um, what other things can we do? Something else I've found out. I can turn off the music. Ha! Which I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do. I'm a little bit worried about getting copyright stricken on YouTube. The other thing is that some policies cost money, and we're gonna turn that off for now because I'm really worried about the moolah of our city. There's something that's very, very important. We've got this beautiful, thriving town over here, and I think that it's time that we gave it a proper name. Springfield, oh, it's just so generic. How can I change it? Yeah, here we go. Hobby Town. And we're gonna name each little district, we're gonna name after a particular hobby. I'm gonna just name one to start off. I wanna take advice from the comments in terms of naming each of the different districts. So if you have a favorite hobby that you want to see represented in this hobby town, uh, please let me know. Hey, so let's see, I'm gonna do this one. We're gonna call it, all right, Cycling City it will be for now. Okay, so that's good. That's all well and good. Oh, very exciting, look at this. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no! Go, 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 go! There's another fire, fire, fire! Put it out, put it out! That's it, put out the fire! Bring around the houses, boys! A fine job, well done. I salute you. Wow, there's a lot of fires happening over here. Okay, so we're bringing in a lot more money now. As you can see, since I managed the city finances, I raised the taxes a little bit. So I think we're gonna do a coal power plant, which is gonna make a lot of people very unhappy, but we're gonna put it far away from most of the residential area. The reality is that we need the power. Is that realistic, megawatts? We're, we're 81 megawatts for a city of 3,000 people? I wonder. Right, okay. Now, I think it's high time I addressed my people. People of Hobbytown, hear me. <clears throat> Excuse me. You. You. Listen up. I am your mayor, Mayor Dovid. Mayor Dovid will take care of you. But only, but only, if you do as I say. If you don't do as I say, I will destroy your houses. So heed my warning and be good citizens or pay the price. That is all. Go about your day. I would really like to expand this city drastically. So, 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 I will show you another good trick that I know. I'm gonna pull this all the way down here. So I'm gonna do some curved streets because straight streets I found are kind of boring to look at, to be honest. And... Okay, nice little cul-de-sac there. And let's zone that up. And we're just steadily growing, steadily growing our town. And there's no point in not zoning it as far as I can tell. It doesn't really cost money. Bring a nice long street over here. And let's connect that in that way. Hey, it's a busy town, all right. A little bit less straight and narrow. And a little bit more me. Whoa, we are swimming in the dough, swimming in it. Let's expand our industrial sector drastically. And take a look at this boom town. Oh, it's looking good, it's looking good. Oh, look at all these big streets we can do now. Oh, we can do such pretty stuff, okay. I like to try to separate the industrial area with the commercial area as a sort of buffer. So let's do that. There we go. What's happening over here? 
abandoned. Somebody had better step in and take over that spot because, oh, I don't like abandoned buildings in my town. Okay, looks like we need another police station. That's fine. Police station coming right up. And you know what? That's kind of far from the police station over there, so I think I'd like to put one over here. Okay, let's see. Hospitals. Ooh, it would be nice to have a hospital. All right, let's do that. And now we're out of money, so we're going to have to wait. But that's okay. We can speed up time. What a beautiful town. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> now, one of the things that's really cool about City Skylines is that there are all these mods that people have built and can be installed into your game to add extra functionality to your game. They can be downloaded right from Steam. It's apparently pretty easy to do. And so if I need to add extra stuff to my game, I can do that. One of those things that you can do is you can design new kinds of roads, different kinds of roundabouts that you can just sort of plunk into your city and use on the fly. I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. This is just quite enough for me to really, you know, pay attention to. But it's something that I may want to consider in the future. Okay, I think this little bit of road here is going to have to get upgraded. And let's see if we can... How about that? Does that work? Hey, that actually cleared it up. Okay. Oh, and this looks like it needs to be upgraded. I'd like to add more lanes going one direction. How dost thou do that? Without upgrading it to a six-lane highway. <laughs> Let the people drink! Good enough for government work, which actually technically is what I'm doing. There's somebody sick over there. Stop being sick! That's it. Problem solved. Problem solved. <laughs> I tend to lean forward a lot, don't I? What would happen if I put on... <laughs> I'm an accountant gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen myself wearing these glasses. I look ridiculous. You're welcome. <laughs> welcome to the creative outlet. I look completely ridiculous. <laughs> what a getup. Okay. I think it's time for a banana, considering I'm your dancing monkey today. Let's see, how is Cycling City doing? Are people riding their bikes? It would actually be really interesting if we could make people ride more bikes here. If you've been enjoying watching me play this game, then you might enjoy some of my other videos. I do a lot of different hobbies and they're very varied. It's not just video games. So do yourself a favor and check them out. And while you're at it, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. it means a lot. Right here, right in here. <laughs> oh man, is there something we can do to make like it a policy that all the street like colors have to match because that oh that bothers me so much over here they've got like tungsten colored lights and over here they've got daylight colored lights and as a filmmaker that really just oh it grinds my gears man grinds my gears okay 4200 people living in our city right now not bad at all if i do say so myself farming yeah we don't have any farms, do we? Is that something that you unlock later in the game that I just haven't seen yet? Okay, it's most valuable right around here. Probably because it's the quietest and it's the most well built up. Land value out here is gonna be very low. That makes sense. Oh my God, that, that place has gotta be going down. Come on, fire engines, where are ya? I like to bitch always sort of be saving up for stuff, so let's take a look at what we're saving up for right now. I'd really like a hospital. I think a hospital would be a good thing. No, you know what we need is we need more schools. We do. We need a high school. Oh, we can afford a high school now. Okay, let's put the high school on the main road. If any of you out there know the game City Skylines at all, uh, maybe you can explain to me why some of these houses are becoming 
abandoned and whether I should be worried about it at all. Honestly, this is starting to be a very attractive looking neighborhood. Look at this. Mm-hmm. I would live here, I think. Well, maybe not in this house. They've got some concrete work that needs to be done. And two different colored roofs. What is wrong with them? Hey, we're a big town. Okay. So let's put in a bus depot. I don't want it to create extra traffic on the main road, so I think... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is proving to be difficult. Difficult. Interesting. I'm starting to see some flaws in my city planning skills. All I'm doing is I'm creating little circles in the city. We've got one over here, one sort of a T-shape over here, and one little one over here uh, of areas that I think that people might want to be able to get around by using a bus. And what that is doing is allowing people to navigate around those areas by bus, and that might help our traffic out a little bit. And when the bus lines get close, that's actually a good thing because it means that people can get off of one bus and go to another bus. And it means that they can travel a little bit easier. And I think I'm gonna hold off on making a bus line over here because I wanna see what develops first. So let's finish with that. Let's try raising the education budget. Will that help? Okay, yeah, it did, actually. Make way for Prince Ali. Make way for Prince Ali. Get that big old brush and brush it in. People of Hobbytown, see what I have given you. I have given you high residential areas. Uh, what is it? Dense. <laughs> High density residential areas and offices. You're welcome. Praised be unto the mayor. Oh, we need an incineration plant. Okay. That is going to lower. So how does this work? The incineration plant actually gets me more energy? That's cool. Okay, I don't think I realized that. Look at this thing all lit up. Oh, that's the fire station. Wow, fire station looks nice. I wonder if it's possible to theme your city to like a certain part of the world. Like what if I wanted to make my city look like it's from Belgium? You know, lots of old old buildings with like those sort of square cut front facades. Or ooh, what if I wanted my city to look like it's in the old west? Or what if I wanted it to look like it's in California with like all this, all the buildings intentionally built really low, even the high density areas, to, because of earthquakes and stuff. Well, it looks like we have a real demand for commercial areas now, so let's build some more roads. I remember reading about the, the theory behind some modern city planning, and it, the idea was that uh, the best kind of city would be one where you have like, suburbia right next to really big buildings. I'm wondering if in the game it'll work out. So let's see, okay. We've got high density residential moving in. And this is looking really, really good. Oh my, we have a lot of moolah. Okay, I think it's time for that university. Let's build a university. And you know what, let's put it right over here. Seems like everybody's happy about that. Police station. Yeah, the crime still be seems really, really low, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. I am going to put in a fire station, however. I'm gonna put this right here. Do we have the money? I would like to expand my industrial area. Maybe I'll make an industrial area over here. I think I'm gonna do that. I know that I don't have the demand for it, but if I don't plan for it, I think, I feel like I'm gonna get stuck. Yeah, 
All right. I guess I'll have to figure that out later. So for next time, I think what I'd like to do is finish out this map and then buy another another one of these areas. If you have an opinion as to where to go, let me know in the comments down below. And you know what? I'm actually going to erase everything because I think I want to start from scratch. So what we've got here is one district. Here's gonna be another. We need some really good names for these different districts. So if you have a good idea of what I should name these, please put them in the comments down below. I'm looking for really good ideas. I'd like to name them something hobby related. This is Hobby Town after all. This is the Creative Outlet YouTube channel after all. And what we do is hobbies. So if you have a favorite hobby that you think would be best represented with one of these areas, leave it in the comments. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you're going to enjoy the rest of the series as it continues. And I'm really enjoying this game. It's complicated enough that you really have to think about it, but not so hard that you can't get started. And I'm really enjoying it with just six hours of playtime so far into this game. That's all for today. Thanks so much.